Coming up on today's edition of iTravel Exclusives, we visit Myanmar's former capital Yangon to unearth its hidden charms as it throws open its doors to the outside world. Welcome to the latest edition of iTravel Exclusives. Hello, I'm Pachuri and today we're stepping out of Thailand and we're heading to the neighboring country Myanmar to take a look at its largest city and most important commercial center, Yangon. Myanmar is a country on the march and nowhere is this more evident than in Yangon. It's bustling, chaotic and often captivating commercial capital, brimming with ancient pagodas, colonial era architecture, markets, museums and restaurants. There's never been a better time to visit this fascinating and yet all too often overlooked Asian city. Once the capital of colonial Burma, the city formerly known as Rangoon suffered from decades of international isolation but with dramatic political development the city is surging forward into modernity and yet if you scratch beneath the surface its old world charms can be found all around. The strong British influence can be seen not only in the grandiose buildings, but also in quaint rituals left over by a bygone era, such as taking afternoon tea at the famous Strand Hotel. But it's not only the British who have left their cultural imprint, for Yangon is a cultural melting pot of people and home to both a Chinatown and a little India, a must visit for any food lovers. And if you want to learn a bit more about the country's rich and varied history, then you should head over to the country's National Museum. However, for Yangon, there is one main attraction that literally stands above them all. Of course, I'm talking about the magnificent, the absolutely stunning and golden 2,500-year-old Shwedagon Pagoda. One of the great religious wonders of the world, it stands close to 110 meters high, is covered with gold plates, and is topped with over 4,500 diamonds, the largest of which is a whopping 72 carats. Whilst there, we caught up with some international visitors who gave us their impressions of Yangon. I think it's more so that it's recently opened and not that touristy and that was probably the point that the main point the reason that we came here. It's perfectly safe. It's actually probably the safest place we've been traveling so far. People here are friendly, everyone's lovely so you know very good opinion of it so far anyway. With so much to offer the adventurous traveler it won't be too long now before the secrets of Yangon are exposed to the whole world so now really is the time to visit if you want to experience its unique charms, rich mix of culture, its history, religion and architecture. And if you need a little help with your planning, be sure to check back soon as we will be bringing you lots of new and exciting Myanmar-related content, including some very exclusive iTravel eye tips from our very own Natalie. Now, if you do want to visit Yangon or perhaps any other destination in Southeast Asia for that matter, but you really don't want to stress about planning the holiday yourself, simple. Head over to gotodestinations.com where we've got some fun and exclusive tour packages for you designed especially to highlight the very best of this region. Check it out, gotodestinations.com. All righty, that's all the time we've got for you today, but don't forget to join us again next time. Until then, take care. Looking for a weekend break? Point your web browser to go to destinations.com and check out the latest three days Yangon Escape. Availability is limited and this unique opportunity is not one to be missed. Check out more exclusive iTravel content by simply clicking on the video tiles and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all things iTravel by following us on Twitter and liking our Facebook page. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon.